is Emily Zlanian with TV Insider, and I'm sitting here with the cast of Outlander. Hi. Hi. Hello. Thanks, you guys, for coming out. I'm so glad to see you here. Um, season five is coming up soon, finally, in February. I can't wait. Um, but I want to talk a little bit about a few things that happened at the end of season four. Uh, one huge, huge thing. Jamie has been ordered to hunt down and kill his godfather, Murtaugh. How is he dealing with that news when we pick up? <laughs> <laughs> How is everyone doing? Oh. That? <laughs> yes, no. He, I mean, he has. He's uh, at the end of season four. We see him being uh, ordered by the governor to to go after his, his godfather. And I think this really um, sort of pitches Jamie and, and Merton to do two separate camps. And um, you know, Jamie's a man of honor and a man of his word. And to be to be on the side of the British for him is certainly going to be a, an interesting moral dilemma. And yeah, he's going to find himself between sort of a rock and a hard place. Duncan, how do you feel? As how does Murtaugh feel about this? Does he know right away? Does Jamie tell him? Um, well, no, he doesn't, because he's you know, scarpered out the back door and is hiding in the basement somewhere. So, right. um, yeah, but it, it, it soon becomes very apparent in the next season that, yeah, he does know. So I can't really say anything more than that, because it would be the spoiler of the century. Jamie. But, yeah, <laughs> he understands. He understands that Jamie's a patriarch of his own now, and he has to take care of a whole community, that he's got responsibilities of his own. And... Uh, that he's go, he's come to a com an accommodation with that and an understanding, and this is all part of a larger battle to come, mm. I presume, um, that we'll be seeing soon. That Jamie and Claire may not be on the side that they want to be on. Yeah, I think they uh, they obviously know from history, um, you know, what's coming, and I and they know which which is the winning side, and they're obviously on the wrong side. But Jamie's doing it obviously for for land. He's doing it for his family. He's doing it for his tenants. Um, but yeah, it certainly puts them on the wrong side. Um, and speaking of the wrong side, David, John is definitely on the wrong side of those things. How is he going to be wrong side. dealing with this moving forward? He's the wrong side. <laughs> Always on the right side. No, I think he's actually stuck in the middle. He's kind of he's got his allegiances with the Frasers and he's got his allegiances with the Crown, so he's kind of torn about that whole thing. Okay. How does he deal with it? Well, you have to wait and see. Sorry, that's a really cheesy thing to say. But <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's good. Um, and... I wanted to talk a little bit about the two new grandparents mm -hmm. here, which is, I can't even look at you and call you grandparents because that's just hilarious. But um, are we going to see more family scenes with Brianna and Roger and the whole gang together and the baby? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think, you know, we sort of spent so much time establishing um, Fraser's Ridge last season and now we get to see the family really settled in and um, the community is, is growing. But it's so nice for... J Claire and Jamie to have Brianna and Roger there and Jemmy and be able to just enjoy being grandparents. I mean, it, it raises a lot of issues for them. Um, obviously, for Claire, she's very concerned with protecting her family. And um, that kind of brings in some cool medical stuff for me this season. But um, yeah, I think they enjoy being grandparents, don't they? I think they do. Yeah. And, it's, and Jamie's obviously always wanted uh, they both always wanted to have their, you know, their foam, their uh, their home, and their extend their foam party, and their ex <laughs> last night, uh, and their extended family. And I think uh, you know this season is about family, and it's about this this whole family being being torn apart. Segue to Jocasta. Yes. <laughs> yes. So Maria, there is a fugitive hiding in her house. Yeah. And she is in love with him. I'm I mad presume. about him. Yeah. Um, we were just talking about, I thought it was so interesting, the um, Myrta and Jocasta story. And I'm just really proud of the show that they that they went for it. And because obviously it's a new storyline, it wasn't part of the books. And uh, that they wanted to show to an older couple who were, you know, passionate about each other, in love, making love, flirting, fighting. Mm -hmm. We don't see very much of that on television. I thought it was brilliant that they... That they that they went for it, and for Jocasta, I think to find Myrta, I I kind of decided that I think she always had a bit of a an eye for him, but didn't interfere because he was in love with her sister when mm -hmm. they were younger. So now she's got a chance. And is that chance still relatively hopeful, even though he's a wanted man? In a bad way. <laughs> well, I never was one to be put off by the breaking of rules. That's all I could say. I think. We also lost a character, well, kind of lost a character this past season. Young Ian has been left behind. How will that loss affect Jamie and Claire moving forward? Um, you know, it was, uh, it was 
tough for Jamie to say goodbye to to young Yi and I, you know he's he's family, but also I think he's he's almost at times I think Jamie sees him as a as a junior Jamie and uh, yeah it's it's um, it'll be interesting if we do ever see him again, you know who he's become and if he's become a man. I think he will. I don't know. I feel yeah, hopeful. I, I, I feel, feel hopeful. I feel hopeful he for looked really for the, happy there. He looked pretty happy, yeah. 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 I learned that in season four, you learned how to gut a fish. I did. Can you tell me a little bit about that well, experience? Actually, I, that I, I wouldn't so say that I learned. I crazy. have I gutted fish before. Okay. It was, this was a much bigger one than ones I'd ever gutted before. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> What's like the craziest thing that you guys Saturday have had to like pick up? Household on this show just because it's you're living in the 1700s i don't know i mean that that day was pretty crazy because it, it was beautiful it was like this massive um uh sea tr or water sea water <laughs> <laughs> it was a trout it was a river trout <laughs> oh, but it had loads of row but it was like minus eight degrees that day and every time we would do the scene by the time the scene was finished, my hand would be frozen. I just had frozen oh, no. fish guts on my hand. Um, but, I, you know, so these are the fun things we get to do on Outlander. Hmm. I made a knife. <laughs> you made a knife? You actually made one? Yeah, they brought in a, a blacksmith and all the authentic 18th century blacksmith equipment. And I made perhaps the most dodgy looking knife. It kind of <laughs> kind of looks like a bit of charcoal, but I'm very proud of it. Did you keep it? Hmm? You got to keep it. I got to keep it. Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah, it's in my it's in my armory at home. Uh, it's <laughs> my <laughs> Learn to well, hold a microphone. Yeah. There is another <laughs> addition to the cast, Adzo. Oh, Am I yeah. saying that right? Adzo. Yes. Adzo. Adorable. Mm -hmm. So adorable. Can you tell me anything about how it's like working with this adorable cat? <laughs> well, cats are untrainable <laughs> and True. basically do what they want. So it's great fun. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we haven't had too many scenes with him yet. Oh, we have. have we? Yeah, sort of. Um, he just sort of does his own thing. It's very cute. And we all get distracted. But uh, Can I tell a secret? There's actually six Adzos. We, yeah, we've ha we've had ages. six. Uh, really? The first, yeah. we had two that they obviously have to double a cat, and then they grew up too quickly. Oh, no. <laughs> so we had to go find another pair. And uh, But every time we, they bring on these new kittens, they're just so cute. And, every, like, all the work stops for, for a few minutes while we try and prize Katrina away from them. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Outlander Thank you. premieres in Thanks February 2020, Thanks. February 16th. Thank you. On Stars. Thank you. Thank you.